Hi Leo, it's L here to do your February 2021 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Leo, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All right, so let's jump into this, Leo. Let's see what the month of February holds for you, Leo. Oh, three of swords coming out. Um, let's, so that's what's going on. Let's see what the advice is for you uh, this month. Okay. Uh, wow. All right. So I'm going to put those back. That was way too many. What's the advice for Leo? The four of wands. All right. And the outcome, if Leo takes the advice. Wow. Your card, the strength card. Okay. So some of you could be wanting your happy home back. You could be wanting a specific person back. Uh, you can be separated from this person. You don't live in the same home. Um, or if you do live in the same home, there's a breakdown in communication. Uh, also, there could be a breakdown in communication with you and this person that don't live together. Um, there's a need for you, the outcome for you to be strong, um, to you to, to communicate and operate in compassion and forgiveness for whatever transpired, or this is how you want someone to operate with you. Um, you need to tame yourself uh, in terms of this, this energy. Maybe you are dealing with um, a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius. Um, the advice here is for you to have a successful completion of maybe this marriage or this moving out of the home. Or this problem that was in the in the marriage, maybe you guys need to um, talk about it, get counseling. Uh, for some of you, something's going on in the home. Um, let's see if we can gather some more information. Somebody, right now, the, the heart of the matter is that somebody's heart and mind is divided. So it's just best to not speak or not communicate or the communication is turbulent. There could be more than one party involved here in this relationship. But someone's trying to stay strong. or trying to stay in the marriage. Wealthy man here. So um, there could be someone who does very, very well for themselves. Um, there could be someone who is more concerned about their money. Right. Um, and that has changed or, it, or change is coming. It's inevitable. It's something that you need to embrace here, is what the cards are saying. Um, it could be coming rather quickly. You could be moving once again, uh, packing up your things. Something about needing to be amicable. The main female, yeah. So there is a main female here and a wealthy man. Um, someone is still holding the torch, holding the rose for this relationship. Still um, hanging in there. I'm hearing that there's somebody else or there's something else. Yep, I knew it. The privileged lady and the occupation. All right. So someone could be dealing with someone at work or was dealing with someone at work. Yep. With the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So the privileged, blah, blah, blah. The privileged lady and the wealthy man are counterparts. So this is the, the husband and wife. And then here we have the outside woman who is the main female so someone could be making an outside woman their main female now or main male uh we won't you know you know subscribe the gender as you see fit but someone uh is caught between lovers here especially with the three of swords here and whatever this is it could be happening at their work or someone's trying to keep their head down and work and uh, not focus on such all the turbulence that's happening in and around their life or, or around their home life. Um, let me clarify the Three of Swords. What's the Three of Swords for Leo as a situation? What's the Three of Swords in a situation? Okay. The Eight of Wands. Yeah. So, you guys, there's a breakdown in communication, but you need to talk about uh the 
trouble and the jealousy within this connection what is causing the demise the breakdown here you guys may be doing this talking not face to face um some of you could be talking about the move the moving out of the home the change that is transpiring here um uh, so, so the man could be leaving i don't see the woman leaving but the man could be leaving or moving out of the home or or just moving around he has somewhere else to go um very interesting some of you could be talking about um sex or the lack thereof or lack of intimacy happening in your marriage some of you could be talking with counselors and or experts that can help you get this back on track some of you the marriage the relationship, whatever it is, is ending. And you just need to be amicable about how it's going to end. The cards say that you need to be strong in the outcome. And you need to forgive. If someone has stepped out, you need to forgive. If you want to, it's up to you. It's for the taking. Uh, you don't have to do that, but definitely. Um, there is another woman here. Maybe the wife has found out about it. Because there has been money transactions found out. Wow. Large sums of money going to maybe another woman. Um, they have been hiding these transactions within their occupation. Someone has been hiding this woman because she works with them. Leo says, whatever you're doing, keep the faith and volunteer. Volunteer. You might need to get involved in some charitable activity. Um, also, you need to volunteer how you feel and what you're thinking. Uh, no one needs to pull it out of you or vice versa. Cross watcher, not sure. You're going to have a new career on the horizon. Sobriety, some of you need to tame yourself with that strength card coming out. Because there's an end of an era. And the end of, the, of this era might be, you know, married life and so forth and having that counterpart. Um, let's get you some monology cards here. You need to join in 12 steps or join in a group of people who can help you through your, your new change, your, your divorce or the moving out of, or help you with co-parenting or whatever this is. And some of you need to have sobriety of the mind too. Some of you, your mind is bogged down with just so much energy of so many thoughts. Uh, let's see. What are you going to tell Leo? The monology card. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. It might be around Aries time. So what is that? March, April. Um, it's going to be time for you to take action. I don't know about what. Um heart flipped on the floor you need to balance spirituality and practicality full moon and pisces all right so that's around march okay so don't be don't tip the scale too much too spiritual and i'm just letting spirit do it and spirits working it out and spirit this and spirit that no if it's practical for you to do you need to do it always remember it's for us to do the possible it's for god to do the impossible all right, believe in the impossible. Wow, believe in the impossible and keep the faith also came out. Spirit will help you. You just need to take the first step. They'll take the next 20 if need, to, need be. Know that there's going to be a win-win outcome in the forecast for you. Okay, so if you're concerned about money or lack thereof, there will be money. Uh, you will get payout or a payout. Maybe around full moon in Libra. That will be October sometime. Not exactly sure. Also, at the bottom of the deck, what I was saying, breakdown in communication. But this card says communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So that could be around May. You guys have to communicate. Not communicating is not the right choice. Uh, you just have to find the best mode of communication for you. Uh, and then I'll set the tone. Um, so that's good. Uh, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, Leo, 
please go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of <clears throat> the text question. You can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings and happy Valentine's.